sickle too. Or tell a strike to the hand. Press stop to begin. Greetings, everybody! This is 480 Volts, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Oh, I have been waiting for this for so long. I love this game. I love this game. So let's get it started, shall we? Here we go. situation. If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Oh dear, it looked like we had a slight video lag there. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, this is the first time I, well, I did test footage, but I didn't really sit through all of the intros, so uh, hopefully it doesn't bother us all the time. Anyway, this is this is Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, well, we're, we're starting with a little intro stage that we'll never ever be able to access again. This right here, this is... This is Crash's little sister, Coco Bandicoot. She is a much more G-rated character than uh, Tana was. Uh, although I always thought it was interesting that um, they, they kind of gave her this little girly image, but yet she has a laptop computer. And this, mind you, this was back in the day when, well, not everybody had a laptop. It de definitely wasn't something that, you know, you just, you could just easily have. I mean, this was, this was almost 20, this was almost... <clears throat> almost 20, woo, almost 20 years ago. Woo, that's, that's so hard to say. Anyway, anyway, the basics of Crash are the same. We have some new moves now. Well, first of all, I love the, uh, the little, as you can see, the graphics haven't really undergone a severe overhaul, but Crash's model has definitely changed. Uh, he seems to be a little bit looser as far as controls go, so that's good. So, uh, uh, I also want to say... Well, no, he jumps about as high as he normally did, but I want to say he bounces higher than he ever did. Um, of course, you still got the spin, but now you got, well, he can crouch, and if you hold the crouch button while you're moving, he can crawl. That's useful. If you jump while crouching, he does a high jump. And if you run and do the crouch button, he does a little Mega Man slide, and I totally just destroyed that box without um, getting its contents. Oh well. And if you jump and do the crouch, he does a body slam, a belly flop. So, he's been working out, got new new moves. So, anyway, let's get going. And here's our music, and our mask. The mask system works just like it did before. Speaking of music, let's go ahead and do what I did not do in the uh, first game. Okay, well, it looks like it's already set up. Um, in the first game, I didn't realize... Um, I guess Naughty Dog had decided that when you're playing a video game, the uh, sound effects are more important than the music. I mean, and when I listened to, so everything sounded loud enough when I recorded it, you know, the spin and the sounds of the Wumpa Fruit and all that, I went back to go watch the videos, the, um, the music could barely be heard, so I'm going to go ahead and jack the sound effects down about three quarters of the way. That way I can keep the audio up pretty loud and you can hear the music. Considering that this game's soundtrack is, I think, a significant improvement over the first one, you're going to want to keep the music. Well, we're going to want to hear it. Oh yeah, a little, little counter's been added when you 
press the triangle button, you can see how many crates you've broken. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, but yeah. I also like how the game literally started off just where the last one left off with, you know, Dr. Cortex falling down the sky. But apparently this is a year later. And uh, what's over here? I don't think that was Crash's house. Like, I don't think we're going to find Coco's battery here. Where the heck are we now? Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Yep, we have definitely got some video lag during the cutscenes. And I'm pretty sure that only happens when I'm recording. You guys are just gonna have to deal with it. So, uh, this is our warp room, basically. This is where... This is where the action happens. This is right now you got four stages, five stages, my bad. And they're all available, so I don't have to, like, technically speaking, this is the first stage, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth, but I can do them in any order that I want. Oh, and the best, well, not the best, but one of the best parts. Okay, this game took just about everything that made the first game good and made it so much more better. So much more better. Yeah, that's, that's great. I, I, I can talk good. And one of the prime examples of how they made things better is this wall right here. I can now load and save my games whenever the heck I want and not have to do any of this crazy bonus room stuff. So let's go ahead and make a slot. Oh, I forgot. There's no numbers, so I can't write 480. Well, I'll just have to settle for V-O-L... T-Z. I hate it when games won't let you write numbers or they'll make you start the very first character of your username has to be a, a letter and not a number because then I can't write 480 volts. I have to do something silly like volts 480 or something stupid like that. Don't they know who I am? Um... Yeah, so you can do any one of these five stages in any order that you want. Uh, of course, I'll be doing it in the order that they're sort of presented, if you will. I think I'll be doing two stages to a video. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. I think that's how I'll do it. I'm actually going to end this video off pretty soon here. But uh, he's asking for crystals, and he expects me to help him. You know, this, this is Dr. Cortex, the dude who caused us trouble in the last video. Why would I want to help him? So... You know what, Dr. Cortex? I don't really think you need those crystals. So I'm just not even going to get them. Going back to the warp room. That's what I'm going to do. No, 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 Crash. I said bring me the crystals! Now, get back in there. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? He didn't like me going in there and coming back empty-handed. But you know what, dude? I really don't think you need those crystals, so I'm just not going to give them to you. No, no, Crash! To save the world, I need crystals. Crystals! more time. They look like this. Crystals crash! Go back through one of those doors and bring me crystals! Okay, I don't know what you're talking about saving the world and all that crap. Dr. Cortex, I remember, he was trying to take over the world, so, uh... What gives? I'm still not getting you no crystals until you give me a little more information. Look about the doorways. Above each, there is a big crystal-shaped slot. Fill all five crystal slots in this warp room by retrieving one crystal from each of the five areas. 
only after we have filled all of the slots in this room can we continue on our quest. This is the last time I will remind you. Okay, so if um, if you go into any more stages and come back out empty-handed, he won't say anything to you. But he did give us some interesting information. Uh, you can see now at, on each one of these doorways, you can see the slots, the crystal slots. Um, but you can also see gem slots. Uh, this is a crash game, so we still got gems. I'll talk about how to get crystals in the next video. There's really nothing to it. But in, uh, in this game, is still a crash game, so you still get gems. So you can see all the gems here. Now, you notice these two stages here show one gem slot. That means that there's only one gem to collect, but these other three show two. Now, that's something new and innovative. Now, we have more than one gem in a single stage. Certain stages. Not all stages. Um, well, that, that first gem, the one that's to the right of each crystal slot, as you can see, is always clear. You, know, you see this one here is red, and this one here is blue. Those are to the left of the crystal. And then this one here to the left of the crystal is uh, is uh, just clear too. But the one to the right of the crystal is always clear. And you always um, acquire that gem by breaking all the crates in a single stage. Kind of like the last game, except you can die as many times as you want, provided you don't get a game over, and you'll still be able to get the gem. So no more freaking having the save state forever and always, so, uh, hey look, he's doing his little animation that he, his still animation that he would do in the first game. I forgot, he, uh, he does that if you le leave him alone for a while. The gem to the left of the crystal, you get that through other methods, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's all I need to really, well, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about more about getting gems and crystals and stuff in later videos. Uh, this is just kind of an intro video to let you know what's going on. This is, of course, my favorite crash game of all of them. So, uh, and by all of them, I mean the first three crash games, Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash. That's all I've ever played. I've not played anything past that as far as crash games. I don't know what the other crash games are. I have no opinion on those games because I have never played them. I've seen reviews. I have even watched a few Let's Plays. But I don't actually have an honest opinion on those games because I have not played them. But these games on the old PlayStation 1, yes. And Crash 2 happened to be my favorite. In fact, it's one of my favorite 3D platformers ever. So this is gonna be a fun this is gonna be a fun game. I was I, I promised a nostalgia throwback trip in uh, the first Crash game, but we really didn't get it. I just didn't really take the time to let it flow. I'm going to really try to get the nostalgia going for me in this game, because it's going to be awesome. Okay, so, until then, I am 480 Volts, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out.